Hello guys, welcome back to another diamond pulley Q-tip and today we're going to demonstrate how to uh, bridge over balls. So I've set up a situation here, playing 10 ball, see it all the time and it's one of the, probably the toughest shot in the game. A very, very difficult shot and I see so many people play this shot so badly, it's unbelievable, even some pros, even myself now and again, it's a very, very tough shot. But if you have this little system what I use and do the and and do the basics and the preparation right, then you're going to improve your chances of making this shot. So the first mistake what I do see is that you play a, a normal game, and this situation happens so much. And I see people coming round. Obviously, they'll look at the shot, but then they, they just get down like this. So that they're like trying to line up between the white ball and the object ball while they're down in the shot. I mean, that's so difficult to do because one, you're having to look at the cue ball and you're having to jack up your cue and then you're looking at the white and the object ball and it's so difficult when you're sort of trying to adjust and, and trying to find the line while you're down in the shot. I mean, that's a big no-no because then you might your alignment could be slightly out uh, you could be off balance a little bit, but also it's just so difficult to see that line when you when you're looking down at the white ball like this. So you're sort of just, I mean, you can make it, but you're making your chances a lot, a lot, a lot slimmer by doing that. So all I do is step back, look at the shot like a normal shot, just walk into it, maybe just get down like this, and then all I do is just line up the shot is if I'm, I'm not jacked up. So I, I sort of just look at it like this, line it up like that, cue ball to the object ball, take a little step back away, look at it again, and then and then I, I just walk into it. So what happens now is that I just do that again, line it up like this, line it up, and then all I do is just lift up my back arm. So now everything's in line, lift up the back arm, and then just really focus on the white ball then. Because the good thing with that is that once I know I'm in line and I'm all lined up, I don't have to look at the object ball. It's the only time where I keep my eyes on the cue ball because I've done all, all, all the preparation before I actually get, get down to play the shot. So obviously just doing that, lining it up and then and just lifting my back arm up just like that. And then all I have to do then is just focus on getting a really good uh, stroke on the white ball and hitting the white ball exactly where I, I want to hit it. Because, because when you're jacking over the balls as well, it's so easy to flick a little bit of side English on the white ball and then obviously it's going to throw it left or right. So when you're jacking over balls, you want to make sure you hit the cue ball exactly where you need to hit it. So I just really focus on the white ball. Uh, so it's the only time really where I don't look at the object ball when I'm down on the shot because I, I just want to make sure that I get the right contact on the white ball. So it's just really focusing on the white ball and just making sure I hit the contact point on the white ball where I need to hit it. And if I do that, I, I know my chances of making that shot are a lot higher than uh, a lot higher than 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 uh, just getting down to the shot. And looking back and forth between the white and the object ball so very important line it up step into the shot just line it up jack up slightly and then really focus on the white ball and you just got to trust it and, it and if you put a good execution on it you'll make a lot more of those shots and you don't and uh, yeah and i've landed perfect so that's my uh, q-tip and i'll see you next time